the clan and welcome to a very special video. Uh, the developers behind the Dragon Age Keep invited me, GamerMD83, Lady Insani and Ability Drain uh, to view their PAX presentation a few days early uh, to their presentation at PAX. Uh, hope, and uh, now they have given me and of course MD, Ability and Lady Insani the special privilege of actually showing you uh, their presentation and also a short Q&A in which we did uh, after the presentation, uh, we asked a couple good questions, and I hope you will enjoy this video. Sit down, stick it there. As you guys know, <clears throat> obviously, uh, choice is pretty important for our games. Um, and one of the big things with the Dragon Age Keep is that we want the world that you shaped uh, to be captured faithfully uh, from the past experiences and reflected that in uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, regardless of what platform. Um, and whether it's now for Inquisition or perhaps into the future. Uh, we also want to resolve a couple of previous challenges and limits of, uh, that we encountered with save file imports. Uh, that includes things like jumping to a new engine, obviously moving into new generation platforms. Um, there's, as you guys are familiar, there's uh, some past import data issues that we've had as well. Um, and in general, just trying to future-proof uh, the system so that this is something that if we are going to do a bit of a reset we do it once and it's something that can last us for a long time. <clears throat> uh, while the keep is definitely more of a utility we want to make sure that it doesn't feel like uh, a tool. Um, we want it to be something that anyone can use um, and that you can spend as, as little or as much time as you want on it. My personal hope is that when you go and do um, uh, replay um, planning out your playthroughs and, and going back and wanting to play any of the other games that you don't feel like it's a chore to have to use the keep uh, to be able to either set up those worlds or to kind of discover things, uh, plan out things that you wanted to go and discover in the past games that maybe you didn't realize uh, were there. The keep obviously is a website, you're familiar with that. Um, it is being built and designed to look and feel like an app. Um, that's so that it plays nicely with uh, touch devices which is a much more common way uh, statistically when we look at uh, traffic stats and so forth for how people are browsing uh, these days as well as things like companion experiences. Um, it is available on any modern browser and uh, virtually any platform uh, without any plugins or downloads so that's very important in terms of making it accessible to as many people as possible. Uh, it is completely free um, and it will be available to everyone before uh, Dragon Age Inquisition ships so everyone will have lots of time to be able to um, go in and play with it. Obviously we've been fairly quiet about it. Um, it is still a work in progress, but today we really wanted to show you uh, where we're at um, and specifically for PAX to give everyone a first look, um, if they're not on the beta, of how it works. <clears throat> and by the time we're done, I'm hoping that you'll have a better understanding of what to expect, um, how you're gonna make those choices, and most importantly, um, how simple it is to get it into Dragon Age Inquisition. So let's go ahead and show some of the keep. Obviously everything starts with a login. Um, everything is tied to your origin account. Um, it is, uh, on consoles, it may be a little bit different than your Xbox Live or PlayStation Network account. Um, but if you played recent Electronic Arts games or our previous Dragon Age games on a console, chances are you already have one of these. Um, because everything is tied to it, it's how the keep talks to the game. So it's important that you pick uh, the origin account that you are going to be using for Dragon Age Inquisition. We have this confirmation page which we've introduced um, and we'll be rolling out as part of the beta and we'll be live once we ship the keep. Um, one of the big things that we noticed with our past games, a lot of previous, um, uh, sorry, um, in our previous games is a lot of players um, don't necessarily realize that they sometimes have more than one origin account. Uh, we also have single sign-on on the keep, so if you're coming from another uh, EA website, uh, you could perhaps be on an account that you don't want to be using or isn't tied to Dragon Age Inquisition. So this is a good way for us to kind of just uh, double check that you are indeed on the right account as you're about to use the keep and getting ready to play DAI. Um, on the first visit, so if we go ahead and proceed through there, um, when you first land on the keep, the first thing that we're going to do is actually try to synchronize with the past game servers for Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2. Um, and this is basically trying to get an understanding of whether you played the past games, um, whether you have uh, played some of the previous DLC, 
um, as well as trying to sync your record of accomplishments, um, what reward items, and it, obviously if we miss something you can troubleshoot it later on, but it's a good way to reinforce that you are also on the right account. Um, we've introduced the item names, so for those that are on uh, the beta, they'll, previously we just had the icons showing up, now it actually says what they are. Um, Jeff's got a lot of things on his account. <laughs> um, so again, this is the first time you do it. Subsequent logins won't um, uh, won't actually go through this. They'll pick up what changes. Uh, if you've gone back and maybe you unlocked another achievement or something along those lines, it'll pick that up, but it won't go through this entire uh, process unless you choose to do that. One of the other things is we tried to pull, um, pull across the previous heroes that you uploaded to us. So once it's done synchronizing your record, um, if you did upload heroes to either Dragon Age Origins or Dragon Age 2, um, it will recognize that and offer to for you to pick one of those heroes. As you guys know, heroes are very integral to the story, uh, and in particular, um, some of the attributes uh, like their race or gender or class and their origin story makes a huge difference in terms of what kinds of choices are available. Um, so this already recognizes the heroes that you've uploaded, as we can see here on Jeff's account for Dragon Age Origins. Um, maybe in this case we'll pick a uh, male dwarf noble. It's my, you guys probably mm -hmm. see me on the forums, you know, I'm partial to that for some reason, uh, warrior. And then um, for DA2 we can maybe go with um, female mage hawk. Um, anyways, so if you have your heroes uploaded, you can, uh, it'll detect that and you can pick that. Um, if you don't, or for some reason uh, we couldn't sync them across, that's fine too. Um, what will happen is we provide a list of uh, pre-made ones that you can pick from. And again, the main thing to keep in mind is you're, you're really taking into account their um, gender and their race and class and so forth. <coughs> Um, the next thing that we're going to show you is a brand new uh, feature, which even our keepers haven't seen. Uh, it's something that we've been working in the background for quite some time. Uh, it's the much fabled play button. Um, so this will actually already start to take into account some of the decisions that you're making, such as the heroes that you selected. It is very much in progress still. Uh, we still got a while to go on this. Um, but essentially when you finish the sync, you can now sit back, relax, and rediscover the key events of the past games through the ISS. Uh, for now, we're gonna join it already mid-story, uh, but obviously once it's launched, it'll have all the key events from Origins and DA2. So hopefully the audio is working for this as well. With, With the traitorous low game now seated on Ferelden's throne, the Warden sought help from the influential Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. However, they arrived in Redcliffe to find the town under siege. And each night, undead rose in waves and assailed the battered village. Alright, so narrated by the one and only Brian Bloom, uh, the voice of Varric. Uh, the ISS takes you on an animated journey through the key events of the Dragon Age series. <laughs> leading up to Dragon Age Inquisition. So you can just sit back and watch it, um, or you can also choose to interrupt and make decisions along the way, such as here. Uh, and obviously those decisions will have a ripple effect. So we're not going to spoil it too much, we'll exit that, and this will take you now to our, the tapestry. <clears throat> so the tapestry has been updated with all new color art, which is one of the big requests that we had from the beta testers. Um, beautiful, beautiful art, um, and it's very much got, obviously, the Dragon Age feel. <laughs> <I'm> just <laughs> watching your reactions. Hi guys. <laughs> um, good. I I'm glad you guys like it. Um, so really, for, for those that are looking for deep customization, this is really the place. The tapestry is where you're going to be able to make 
um, a very unique uh, world of Thetis. Um, it has over 300 choices from Origins in DA2, as well as the expansion and all the DLCs. Um, it will also start to take into account um, some of the choices, such as the hero. So if we go into Dragon Age Origins, uh, into the hero tile, you can see that it has our Dwarf Noble there, as well as the ISS choices. Um, so if we go to Arla Redcliffe, for example, <coughs> will have recognized some of the choices made through the ISS on there as well. Um, <clears throat> with the uh, auto solver technology as well, you literally can make as, as few or as many choices on here as you want. Uh, the world is always valid and it's ready for import into DAI the minute that you make a decision. Uh, so for example, with Sten, um, if we didn't recruit him, So it will actually uh, tell us that this is a problem and it conflicts with a different choice uh, that you've made and you can go ahead and, and choose to accept that which will make the impact on the subsequent choices uh, essentially writing the world so that you make sure that there's no conflicts in terms of the import there. The other thing is um, you are able to lock decisions as well. So for example if I really wanted to have uh, my female warden uh, end with Alistair as um, on the throne of Ferelden, I can lock that and choose that answer. Uh, this will automatically, uh, obviously is telling me that I have to change to a female character and it will pick one for me, as well as any other conflicts will get resolved. And now if I go to the hero choice and I try to change it back to a male character, for example, um, it would warn me that uh, I have actually locked that choice and I need to first unlock it. And this is a way that you can protect things that are very important to you, uh, such as particular endings or certain romance choices. Um, and uh, the auto solver would do its best to work around it, and where it can't, it will prompt you for how you'd like to solve those problems. Um, obviously, it's not meant to replace your experience in the game. Uh, the choices do provide some context as well. So for example, above each of the decisions, you can select the question mark icon. Um, it's not meant to spoil anything, it is really just to try to drug uh, your memory, but it is a good way to recall the past um, and also to give you a chance to explore um, all the what ifs around areas that maybe you didn't realize existed in the games uh, or decisions that you couldn't bring yourself to, to make as you were playing the game. You can explore those here and then see what the impact of that will be. Um, it is still in progress, but right now over 200 of these choices will actually get imported into Dragon Age Inquisition in some form. Obviously some of those can be as simple as a very quick nod to the decision and others will have much deeper repercussions which we'll let you guys figure out. When you're done making those decisions, uh, you can go to the World State Manager. And this is really where you're able to manage multiple worlds, um, each of them having unique choices. You can uh, name these worlds. You'll see that uh, we've introduced uh, preview images as well. <clears throat> so it gives you a preview for some of the key decisions of Origins and DA2 for that world. Uh, you can actually share that with friends as well. And then they can take that world and either apply it into their uh, Dragon Age Inquisition or make further changes uh, before doing so. Um, and then at this point, we'll probably jump into, I don't know if we'll get a chance to jump into Dragon Age Inquisition uh, live, um, but I can walk you through a little bit <clears throat> once you've exported into DAI here in the keep. Basically, we'd fire up your game, and from the main menu, make sure that you're on the same origin account as you're using here on the keep. You would select New Game, um, and then as part of the New Game flow, you'll be prompted whether you'd like to import your uh, history from the keep and you say yes and it really is just as simple as that um, so that's basically it so before you go um, again I just wanted to pass on my thanks to uh, everyone that's been a part of the beta program uh, the keep is really made for for you for fans so it made sense to have you directly involved as early as possible uh, the keepers as they call themselves have been collaborating with us for months now and really what you're seeing here today is an end result of that direct cl uh, collaboration, their direct impact through their feedback. There's still a lot more to come. Um, and you can still sign up to the Keep Beta at dragonagekeep.com. 
Um, right now we do have over 100,000 applicants already. Uh, so again, we do apologize if uh, we don't get you in right away, but the Keep will open its doors before Dragon Age Inquisition, so everyone will be able to, um, to play with it. I hope you enjoyed the demo, and we're happy to answer any questions. We'll <laughs> so just first impressions, both of obviously what you guys saw so and, and in terms of color and stuff, and then obviously um, questions. Color! <laughs> it was it's so, so pretty. pretty. So nice. I wasn't expecting it was to be very, so vibrant. Very, it was just so very cool. pretty. Very impressive. It was colors. just like, <laughs> yeah, the in your face. All the feels. All <laughs> the feels. I kept on going. I was like, oh. All oh, the feels. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. yeah. The color, very, very pretty. That's all I can say. I look absolutely gorgeous. I'm a sucker for a good artist. And yeah, uh, very much it. props to there. So the props movie. to the. Really clever. Oh my yeah. god, the little movie thing. Oh I my god. I thought it might be something like that. I was like, what is that play button? Yeah, yeah. I like, got spoiled for that already, but that was. <laughs> I'm so glad it came into <laughs> like fruition. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, you could have told us. Blame Leah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rajupa wanted some Varric narrating, so. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Varric could, Var Var could narrate the whole Inquisition game, and yeah. I'd be happy. <laughs> I think Vera could narrate the we Bible the and be for you, and he, you'd watch it. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> as long as the chest hairs out. Uh, <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, yeah. So, so. Is Brian Bloom narrating, like, all of them? Like, all the movie? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, well. yeah. Uh, that's, that's, that's very interesting. Uh, as is the play button, I was always wondering, like, is that just going to be a little short movie? And I was like, I don't want to speculate too much, but uh, yeah, I, I thought it may have been that, and it looked absolutely brilliant, so I can't wait to see the final product for that so yeah. yeah we're very excited about it um it's gonna be really neat i think one of the really cool parts is um when you actually share your world with someone essentially that's what they're going to get first is oh. they will actually be able to play through oh, it right. and nice. then they can actually take that and apply it into their their uh, tapestry um so it'll be you'll actually be able to share it with someone even outside of the keep as well Hopefully, once we launch, fingers crossed. Yeah. 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 it's Yeah. 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 it's Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's, it was actually written by the writers as well, so uh, it's, they did an awesome job. Yeah. Very happy with yeah. it. Can't wait to show you guys the whole thing. When it comes That's out. exciting. Yeah. <laughs> can't, can't wait to see it. And, yeah, looks awesome. And also, like the little thing at the end, is you can even choose the choices that you couldn't bring yourself to choose because, yeah, the pl there's <laughs> yeah. plenty of those. Plenty of those in the game. Uh, uh, I'm like, I don't want to make the choice, but I kind of want to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, so it all <clears throat> it all links through Origin then the account. Yeah. Okay. You you know I have a question actually that I've been getting a lot. Um, it's people people that don't have the internet, like do uh, people that don't have internet yeah. access to transfer. I was surprised. I was like, are you kidding me? But. <laughs> People that uh, don't have the internet access to transfer their imports, because people were like, okay, well, I could go to the library to cr to use the internet, but then how do I transfer it to the keep? I guess it's just through the Origin account. Yeah. Okay. So basically, on the on whatever they're playing Dragon Age Inquisition on, if it's their PC or a console, that has to connect to their Origin account. So you'll have a login, just like uh, Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age Two did, where you can log into your I think at the time we called it a Bioware slash EA account or something like that. Yeah. Um, it's all the same account, but essentially it has to be able, the console or the PC has to be able to connect into that. Okay. And that's how it will then be able to get your data out of. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Now it only needs right. that for a little bit of time, um, but that's that's right now that's still a requirement. There's no way around that. So technically, yeah. you could tether your phone for like 30 seconds yeah. and pull it down. And that yeah. would they work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All the person could just go the old-fashioned way, get a friend with the save and just get a USB. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, I've seen people uh, post a few of those questions on the forum, and I suspect we'll get some uh, as part of the Q&A of PAX, uh, 
the challenges that, um, so for example, the, the one that I've seen the most is people being able to do their uh, PlayStation updates through a USB stick or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's still a file that's been created by Sony um, yeah. as, a, as a protected file. Uh, and we can generate those kinds of things outside of their platform. Um, so it's literally impossible for us to create something like a save file or some other file that you can import into the device. Uh, okay. Microsoft's the same way as well. PC, obviously, we, can do, <laughs> we could do that. Yeah. Uh, there's still the challenge of the game itself does it support them. Uh, but you may be able to, I suspect people find creative ways as they've always done through modding to <laughs> yeah, the, you. the uh, default world state. Um, and I'm not opposed to, unofficially of course, <laughs> it's easy for them to do something like that and maybe find a way to somehow link, um, export what they have in the cube to something that um, the modder can then take but we wouldn't be able to directly go and do that. Um, okay. with, with the little oh. movie, is that something you guys done or did you work with an external company to make that? Yeah, it's done through an external company uh, that we worked with before, actually. They helped us out on Mass Effect. Uh, and they've done, actually, a lot, of the, um, a lot of the art is all being done through another team that we work with. Uh, and it's being led from part of the team but the, what we're calling the ISS, that movie that is actually being done through an external company here in Edmonton as well. That's Are you allowed to tell us who that is? I don't know. I, I, I can't imagine we could. Yeah, it's called G Skinner. G Skinner. Yeah. G Skinner. So yeah. okay. probably, I mean, for now, uh, I don't know that we'll put that out there, but certainly by, as we get closer to launch, I want to make sure that we call out the partners. We're looking at actually doing something like a credits page as well and keep to make sure that we recognize all the people because that's a lot of that's a lot of work put into that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome, awesome job. Um, yeah, it yeah, it's pretty neat though the way it works with the auto solver tapestry because they kind of built the HTML5 animation layer. So that whole thing was not a video. It's actually HTML5, so it'll work oh. on mobile phones, on consoles. Nice. So it's, it's really nice. kind of cutting edge web stuff. Yeah. So they do all that, and then. Like the DA team did, like Mike and them, they did all the writing and the editing and the kind of Varric pass to make it fun for Varric. Brian Bloom. Uh, <laughs> and then like the auto solver tech kind of feeds into it. So you can make your choices and like you'll... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, but on the choices you're making. So it works a little bit more, I guess, linear in a sense. So the first time you come in, it's not as like crazy as the tapestry is, because I know we got a lot of feedback on, you know, when things change around and there's kind of no yeah. starting point. So really, this will be a good starting point and it sets a whole swack of the high level decisions. So when you come in, your little tower will be on fire versus not on fire yeah. if you helped Red Cliff or not. So that's <laughs> kind of been really neat to see. Yeah. And Justin and Jeremy did the majority of the work cooking it up to the tapestry, so you'll have to wave at him and because that was Thank a lot you. of <laughs> I get <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I, Tell please. Oh, I I love by the way the little edit button, like when you're watching like, oh no, yeah. I didn't like that. I'm gonna go edit it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I think even doing the, the before the new redesign, um I was I, I already went through and uh, the the crime wave one uh, with a slime, slime criminal. Slim, I never, I, 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 slime, yeah, I never encountered them in my entire playthroughs of Dragon Age, and I put over two hundred hours in that game. So I don't know how you managed to miss it. I know, it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just did, but I went back and done a bit of research, and I was like, yeah, my warden would have done that, so I'm changing that. So yes, my warden did do that. So, <laughs> so it's, I do like that option. No, yeah, it's, 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 I know. <laughs> I also the little. I'm sorry. Uh, and go. <laughs> oh, we just lost him for a second, so we just one more time. Yeah, you're back on though. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. No, it's just uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, the keep helping make a little change to my warden by the the crime wave thing, which I never encountered in over 200 hours of gameplay. So, 
That was, that was fun, but yeah, definitely enjoying that little part and little edit thing there was very impressive as well, especially with a lot of changes you can make as you go, because you're like, I don't remember doing that. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. Um, in the beginning where where it was like reading all your achievements, uh, when, it's, when you said that it could pick up your warden or your hawk if you had linked them, does, if, if you do do that, uh, I, I I was confused whether does it already have does it already should do you already start the keep with that warden and hawk or do you have to start all over anyways? No, no. that's yeah. Basically, the it's sort of the, the demo that we did is um, it picked up that you had heroes uploaded from Origins and DA two, and you could pick from which one of those you want as for your starting world state. Which one do you want as the hero for Origins and for D2? Mm -hmm. And that will already kick off a bunch of decisions uh, based on male, okay. female, those kinds of things for Origins, for example. And then when you go into the movie, as you're making decisions on there, that will further make decisions so that by the time you land in the tapestry, which is what Leo was, was talking about, hopefully your experience is already fairly customized uh -huh. compared to someone else. So out of the gate, by the time you hit the tapestry, Hopefully, most people won't have anything that looks alike already, um, yeah. and you can customize it further from there. Okay, so technically, yeah. you could just, just if, if people want to, if they just want to, just okay, yeah, I'm gonna choose this hero. I, I had I had linked it in, on Origin. I'm just gonna choose it, watch the little video, and boom, it going right into DAI if they want to. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. So if you if you know exactly which one of your wardens you want, which one of your hawks you want. You can just select those two. You can use the movie as a refresher. Mm -hmm. like, here's why I left those key decisions. And as soon as you hit the tapestry, you can go to the world state, export it. Cool. Okay. Yeah. One of the questions I had, I actually. Oops, sorry. No, I was just going to say already the hero's selection may be making changes. So the movie will have to kind of reflect whether, for example, how things ended in origins, like who's on the throne, maybe based on whether you pick the male or female warden, for example. Okay. Sorry, Ash. No, it's okay. Um, I was just gonna ask. I actually asked Leah this uh, before, but it was mainly on how, uh, like, there are some people who have so many heroes, and it extends over the actual limit that Origin allows the cloud sink. So, is there any like resolution to that as far as like if you go over the two gig uh, limit as far as like how many heroes you have and how many save files you have? Is there anything done yet? <laughs> so, the whole syncing process, as you guys know, is something that we're still working on. Okay. Um, so, I think maybe Jeff, if you want to talk about sure. kind of where that's at. Yeah, essentially, all the heroes that show up on the DSM right now, they're going to be syncing those over at some point. Those will show up. So people who kind of game the system and like deleted them off of the online storage and then uploaded new hair, new heroes and have like two hundred now. Those should all show up. Okay. So, okay. Do you get them? <laughs> <laughs> um, the idea is um, some of the management things that currently live in the legacy site. We will be yeah. bringing that across. So that's part of I think what's for some people that may be what's causing them. Problems is that they're going back to BSN and managing it there, but then the warden or whatever still shows up on the keep, and that's because ultimately we want you to do everything on the keep. It's just those two are actually there's two different storages, if you will, and uh, until they're all one and the same, which yeah. is what we have uh, to finish off. Um, there's always going to be some of those inconsistencies in there, depending on whether you manage stuff on the BSN. But to Jeff's point. Um, if you can get the hero to the BSN, that's usually the biggest hurdle. Um, and that could be things like you had the developer console turned on on the PC and all those kinds of challenges, or you didn't have the, uh, the option set to upload those things to us. Uh, but if it shows up on the BSN, then all of that should come across the keep because at that point, it's already on our side of the fence. And those are our servers, so we should be able to get to it once we finish up the rest of the, the work that's needed for that pipeline. Um, so I have a question for you oh, guys. Sorry. How did the no. uh, stream hold up? Was uh, was it a good quality for audio and video? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. the stream held up fine. Yeah. Held up fine. Uh, I think there was like one slight point where it went quiet, but beyond that, it was great. Okay, yeah, we, we have 
we made a local coffee too. Hopefully everything's oh, on there. So if you kind of go through Leo or Fernando, they'll probably be able to send it to you. I would imagine. So yeah. awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, go. Perfect. Yeah, thank Wait. you so much, everyone, for your help on that gun Thank rabbit. you. That's okay. okay. Thank, you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting us see it early. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. That's thank awesome. That. Yeah, yeah, thank you. What your reaction going to be from the other keepers? Um, I think they're going to love it. Yeah. They're going to go I, bonkers. I, 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 know, <laughs> I, I know a couple of uh, my, my subscribers who uh, will be very excited by it. Um, so I can definitely see if they're, they're going to like surprised. that. With uh, with the concerns with the concerns I've been hearing, what you what we just saw, it's gonna just like it's gonna it make them very happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we we added lots of little things. I don't know if you noticed, like there's now separation between DAO DA two. You can now yeah. read your yeah. friend Jared World State. So yeah. I hope everyone notices. Like we we go through and we're always like, I don't know, ask ask the keepers, just post it on the forums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm just so uh, hard what, it's that way. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's uh, also the little question mark thing that you've implemented. That's a uh, Nice yeah, lovely job. As I had to refresh my memory quite a lot going through my saves because I've been a while since I played through a Dragon Age. I, I was using Wiki. Was that <laughs> yeah, that's what I was using. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I, that's the one thing that I was all, always concerned about. Like, what if I can't remember it? I have to look up all this stuff, but the question mark things are very welcome thing. I have had a few of my subscribers contact me say about that, but uh, I, I normally just ignore them because I'm like, I don't want to say anything about it because I don't know what I can say. So I, can, I know a few are going to have for that. Yeah. And the writers. <laughs> doing more, I think this week they're finishing up a pass on the existing ones just to make sure they're all as context-y as possible. Because mm -hmm. obviously the keep's not a replacement for playing DA, but it should yeah. certainly refresh your memory. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. So there's more updates to come, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so is, is, is this the beta that we're going to be working on now? Yeah. Yes. Starting Ooh. after PAX, right? After yeah. PAX. The when, pretty... That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. <laughs> We may not add the play button, right? Yeah, right. the yeah, the unfortunately, we still are working through a few bugs with G Skinner and uh, Jeremy and Justin. So that one we might not unleash on the world yet. But um, other than that, you'll get all the colored art and images and um, all the yeah. new features, basically. So the heroes section is new because we didn't show you both heroes and career are also new mm -hmm. um, yeah. and much prettier slash have all kind of the little UI UX improvements that people have been calling out. So it's, it's nice to see those subtle tweaks come in and it looks yeah. and Yeah, we want to make sure that we, we fix up the rest of the, uh, the movie. Yeah. Um, but also, I think rather than trying to throw too many new things in there, we wanted to just get a week or two of feedback on this revamp from yeah. the keepers and just make sure that there aren't any other issues that we haven't seen yet. Um, and then once that's stable, we can add um, the movie back in, and there's more stuff coming as well. Which yeah. Um, I'm just going to be sitting watching stuff. that movie the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so we play. This. Play again. Like, yeah, people, people, you watch that Dragon Age movie, there you go, you got one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's go. I'm hoping that will be a, a better onboarding for someone that also doesn't know, or maybe missed out one of the games, or has never played the previous games and just landing them on the tapestry and asking them to read the context questions. Yeah. Hopefully that will serve as a better introduction. Yeah. Uh, the I fact think it's I custom to you, I think, is really cool as well. So. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one here who constantly gets questions like, how did I get into Dragon Age? It's a quite a long game. I'm like, yeah. oh. <laughs> um, I play it. Just, yeah, go play it. <laughs> just do it. But uh, the tapestry does look like a very interesting way to introduce people who may not be familiar with the previous games or maybe Inquisition is their first ever Dragon Age game so that's very very good job now I can definitely see a lot of people being happy but I'm probably gonna still we're all probably gonna get, still get that question every bloody day for the next year yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you've probably noticed it takes a little bit of, uh, of inspiration from what we did for Mass Effect as well yeah uh, the yeah, big change okay. that we noticed uh, is I think, but well, one, we added a lot more choices to it, it's a lot longer. Mm -hmm. the second one is that you don't have to make decisions. I think that was one of the things that a lot of people had called out is that it keeps stopping you. Yes. And you're like, what do you want to do here? Do this or do you want yeah. this? Um, whereas to some extent, like this is already going to be long enough. And rather than taking you out of that experience all the time, if you want, you can literally just, as we kind of did, put it up on a big screen and actually just watch it. And it's, 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's gotta be five minutes long. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's probably about fifteen minutes. It's on that yet. Yeah, that one. But yeah, I, I think it'll be just nice even just to be able to do that. And if, you know, I've had times when you go back to play a game um, and it's been months and you don't really remember where you last left off. So it's another way that you can kind of just refresh. I don't necessarily want to make choices. I just want to remember, oh, this is what I'm yeah. expecting the next one. Yeah. So I think it will cover a lot of those types of uh, concerns that people have raised already. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Totally uh, surpassed my expectations. Yeah, I wasn't expecting yeah. that. I wasn't even. Uh, it's uh, uh, so yeah. much, so much time and effort put into it. That's that's awesome. And I, I, I do like how the the art, as it, I don't know if it was just me, but the art, <laughs> the, the new the new art, the more colourful art, uh, it definitely has a bit more a bit of style from the um, the card art from Dragon Age Inquisition. Yeah, There's, the loading. Very the, similar. Yeah, and it's similar I, to like the loading screens from from Dragon Age both Origins and Dragon Age yeah. Two. Yeah. Same sort of so, art style. Uh, it's, the, it's, the, it's the little touches that, uh, that I like the most, and those little ones. Sounds familiar, yeah. Like, yeah, makes me go, yes, this is a Dragon Age. Uh, so I know plenty of people are going to be happy with that. So. Yeah. I can't wait till you can look at it um, in person because there's, like, it was four artists working for almost three months to get this done. Wow. And it was the <laughs> first round of feedback with you guys, and we somewhat killed the Alistair bug ish. <laughs> 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 and then it was like, well, we want more color, more music, more sound, more engaging, like just more there. Yeah. And so we thought this was a really cool way that we could, you know, give that to you guys. And that's awesome. That yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, 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 I like that kind of art style. So it's, yeah. I very much appreciate it. So, and I'm sure everyone here does, and I'm sure a lot of the subscribers uh, oh, that we yeah. have all. Test us and about our opinions on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I like the tarot card style. That's that's the kind of vibe I'm getting with the tarot card kind of style that's going with it. Yeah, it's kind um, of similar to the. Yeah, um, that's that's my that's just my my pickup. I'm not a very artsy person, but <laughs> that's that's at least my pickup. But so uh, give give major props to the art team. They they did a fantastic job, and everyone else who worked on this, it looks fantastic and. I was very nervous about this. I the idea of this kind of thing. I was like, how can you implement so many choices in a like this kind of thing without playing the game? But you have done above and beyond, yeah. and I think everyone can agree that he's did an excellent job. And can't wait for the final product. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. People are Yeah. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I, I, sorry, I tend to do that. <laughs> you do go fast. I, I warned him. I was like, "Don't you talk over everyone. Be quiet." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, uh, all I can say is, when people see that packs, they're gonna be very happy. I can tell you that. There'll be plenty of squeeze. <laughs> I can't wait to hear him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, is there any other questions that you guys wanted to, to ask? Um, I think I already yeah. asked what I was built to feel. What's next? Yeah, well, yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna think of a bunch of them afterwards. Yeah. Like, Ooh. <laughs> uh, you did it. Uh, you did a good any... job distract. Oh, sorry, Grash. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, any um, upcoming features that are gonna be implemented to keep other than the play button? Yes. Oh yeah. Very Can you hint at some? <laughs> <laughs> music. Uh, uh, music would be a nice touch, but <laughs> I know plenty of people wouldn't like that. Well, well certainly the next one will okay. be the, the movie player. Um, there's still... Yeah, there's still uh, one other feature we haven't introduced yet and we're working on. Is, uh, we still don't have a good way to show the breadth of the IP. So we have things like novels, comic books, and all those kinds of things uh, that do directly tie into the, the story. Um, so there is a section called World Lore that we're still working on. All right. Nice. I was actually going to ask that. I was like, well, probably not. <laughs> I was going to ask like the whole lore thing. Is it going to be like a lore side? Yeah. Did you yeah. read the books? It's, yes or no? That's awesome. So the, the biggest part is you want to get uh, some of the more challenging features uh, programmatically to kind of get that out of the way 
um, and starting now, as you're seeing, we're starting to add more polish to those things. Those are the ones that we know we wanted to have for sure, for sure, uh, by launch time, we needed to have these in there. Uh, so now we're starting to uh, get towards other features that um, I think add more years, but there's nothing stopping us if we needed to, to launch them a couple weeks after launch or uh, DAI or something along those lines and roll on these features. So we're kind of in a better place now with that. Um, but that would be probably the next one that we would look at um, is starting to tie in some of the other IP uh, item, the ancillary products and those kinds of things. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it should keep people happy because we do. We also get questions like, uh, what, what do you think about this? And the people did ask if this spoiler is not in the book. So having a little section in, in the Tapestry and the key will be nice tip for people. Right, get, go, get, go there. You can just go there and there you'll find it. So, <laughs> no, by far, nice. the, the number one thing is we wanted to make sure that we could help people to come from Origins DA2 or, or uh, having not played the previous games and be able to get into DAI with the world that we want. Um, mm -hmm. I think we're, we're essentially there. Uh, we still have, I think there's still some outstanding requests of a couple of items and, and there's still some work. Yeah, locking down the plot. Uh, but uh, functionality wise, it's yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, and it's actually, I don't know if you guys seen on the forum, uh, Alan's now been importing the state. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did <laughs> <Also, laughs> you save the, the Phoenix and the Nugs? <laughs> um, actually, the DAI team uh, on the QA side, they're certainly using the internal version of the key to prep all their, all their playthroughs uh, so that we try to get as much coverage as things go. Cool. So the next step is really looking at now bringing <coughs> more of the franchise pieces into that. Uh, there is, uh, again, there's this lore section, and there's a few yeah, other things as well. Uh, true, actually for, so the, the general plan would be um, for us to roll out a month ahead, or roughly a month, ahead, give or take, we'll work out the exact time. But, uh, we're aiming for sometime about a month before Dragon Age Inquisition uh, comes out, and then we will do an update, essentially a site refresh when DEI ships with all of the actual DEI content as well. So one of the big things is we don't want to spoil, obviously, anything yeah. that is in DEI itself. Um, so we want to make sure that none of that actually lives, even on the beta site. Um, but certainly as we get, uh, as DEI ships, we'll do a big refresh with a whole bunch of new content. The features would be the same, but we'll now add additional content that uh, DEI talks to. Yeah, well, it's a plan. I think that it's a few months left. Yeah. So we'll yeah. make sure yeah. that they all, uh, they all have fancy microphones. What are they? What are the microphones you guys are using? Blue <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I'm, I'm using a snowball. It's a sure microphone. I forget. PG something. <laughs> I'm using a snowball. I'll be upgrading to get it once I can afford it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, I'm trying to think if there's any more questions I can think of, but pretty much everything's been covered that I would want to ask, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, cool. Again, I really appreciate your time and yeah. your patience in terms of getting this set up. No, yeah, yeah, I okay. appreciate Thank it. You. Thank yeah. you for showing. Totally appreciate uh, we do, it. We appreciate it. It's, thank you. I think I always appreciate that, so <laughs> thank you. Uh, and again, uh, very, very happy to, to hear your feedback uh, and that we're still on the right track with these things, so. Um, next step is we're looking forward to PAX. Obviously, if you guys have any questions in the meantime, feel free to reach us, uh, either myself or Leah, directly. Yeah. Um, cool. If Thank you. Wanna, if you do have questions from uh, your followers or anything like that, if you want us to, uh, we can yeah, answer we can those just like before. Yeah, yeah, easy. Happy to. Awesome. Uh, or even for others in the, in the game team, uh, yeah. the dev team as well. If you guys have specific questions on some of the or something along those lines, we're happy to uh, give them a few minutes away from their keyboards. <laughs> I'm not the ball and chains. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so those never come off. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. All right. No, that's awesome. Thank you. Uh, I hope it was it was fun. And um, Very fun. we'll see you down at uh, PAX as well. It'd be great meeting you in person. Um, and then, yeah, is there anything we can help? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Right. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 B
Hope you all enjoyed that clan. I have to give a big, big, big thank you to all the developers at the Keep for inviting me, MD Ability, Lady Insanity, and of course, did I say everyone? MD Ability, Lady Insanity, yeah, I said everyone, <laughs> and myself, of course, uh, to inviting us to view this presentation a lot of days because a lot of us, unfortunately, will not be able to make it packs. I know Lady Insanity is there, and I hope she's having an absolute ball. Um, I can't tell you how much it meant to me to be invited uh, to view this. I, I, you have my deepest, deepest thank yous, and uh, I can't really wait to see what uh, future stuff you have uh, for future you have planned for the new things you'll be implementing in the keep. Um, I'm sure I can speak for a lot of Dragon Age fans when I can say that you, all the hard work you are putting in will not go unnoticed. And yeah, thank you again for the invitation, and uh, hopefully I didn't disappoint. <laughs> That's all I can hope. Um, Thank you again and clan I hope you enjoyed the video and please go and share a little bit of love to the Dragon Age Keep people, uh, they did a absolutely fantastic job and if the Keep, Keep developers are wondering why I'm not naming names, the main reason is I'm a horrible horrible human being and I'm horrible at names, I'm so sorry. Uh, I remember a few but I don't want to miss anyone so I'm just going with the whole team there. Um, Thank you all. Thank you all for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed the presentation. And also, a big thank you again for the for Bioware for giving me permission to get a little bit of an exclusive. Thank you all for watching. As always, I'm Scottish Warren Nate Two. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao for now. Mwah.